Assalamualaikum and very good morning happy to my beloved students okay. As we know and uh, we have learned another past week that we just uh, learned about the question rules, the product rules and the chain rules And this week and today uh, especially I am going to teach you on how to memorize easily of the theorem of the derivatives of trigonometric function Okay? And derivative Right? According to the most that you have hard to remember Sine and then And then How we are going to write the derivative of the original? First of all, right, the most common that I have, you have remember first, for a sign is cosecant because cosine x is derivative of the original sign and cos, of course, it is sine negative sine x. Okay, from this, how we're going to write? First of all, look at the negative negative sign. So we put it after one column. A uh, one row, so it is. We put it like this after one row, and then also after one row, put negative sign. Okay, the next step is tangent. Tangent is always spatial, same to the cotangent. Spatial, which is it must have a square the value, the square. So where and then we refer to the next row the next row is second x second x we put it here second and it's special so second squared x next is cotangent x cotangent x also we look after the one row is cosecant x so we put it cosecant x but the special you has must have square x. And then for second x, we look here. Second. So it is second. But no square. And then look at after the one row above. So tangent x. And then cosecant x also look at the above after one row is cosecant x and then look at the after one row is cotangent x. Okay. You guys remember that? Okay now I will give to you one paper, each of you, so you can write it down and try to memorize the formula on this theorem. Okay. Okay. Can I ask one of the volunteer to write it in front? Okay, me. Okay guys and students, so how is it easy to remember the story? Yes. Okay, I hope this is very helpful to you to answer the examination or any example that I'm going to give you. Okay? Are you ready to solve the problems? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gave us the question. Okay. Um, before I'm going to give you uh, the equation, so I'm going to... Um, explaining that this is very important when it comes to our, uh, our, the examination equation which is sine squared s is equals to sine squared this one is not e sine squared x is not equals to sine 
this is different. This one is true, and this is false. Okay? Okay, you may start now. Okay, so I'm going to solve question one using for that rule. For that rule. So, dy dx. To write it down like this one, you do this like this one. First, state what is u and what is v, and then find u, u prime, v, and v prime. So, in product rules, start with this one. So, this one times this one plus plus, like it will be plus this one times this one. So it will get same as u times v prime plus u prime times v. This is the fourth product rule. Okay, thank you, sir. No problem. So I'm going to solve for question number two. Uh, for question number two, we are going to use a uh, Gaussian rule. Gaussian rule. This one will be u, while at the bottom will be v. So we are going to use the formula dy over dx equals to v u prime minus u v prime over v squared. So we will take this one sine x as u. u equals to sine x. Uh, derivative for sine x will be cos x. While v will be 1 plus cos x So after we inter uh, differentiate This one will be 0 And cos x will be negative sine x So basically it will be sine x or v prime So by applying this formula We are going to write down dy dx equals to v 1 plus cos x and u prime will be cos x minus u prime u sine x sine x over v squared 1 plus cos x power of 2 we, uh, first of all, we have to expand expand the bracket So it will be cos x plus cos squared x minus sine squared x over 1 plus cos x squared So Over one plus cos x squared. 
Applying uh, Pythagoras theorem Cos square x minus sin square x Will be equal to 1 So Cos It will be This one Will be 1 Equals to 1 So it will be Cos x plus 1 1 plus cos x Squared So we can cut uh, uh, above and bottom because uh, it's the same. This one will be one, or this one will be all of one. So the answer will be one over one plus cos x. Okay, students, let's see. So x plus one. So we can solve with the Yes, we can change it like this, cos x, so you may uh, see cos x plus y squared, so it's easier to see it. So you can sell this one and this one, so it will become 1 over, or plus cos x, or otherwise, 1 over cos x plus y also can. Okay. So I'm going to solve question number three by using a uh, quotient rule. So we by using quotient rule, u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. So this is u, this is v. So this is u, u is equal to secant x. So derivative for u is uh, secant x. Tangent x for v, v is 1 plus tangent x, v prime is equal to secant square x. So, uh, if you put the linear formula, u prime is secant, sorry, secant x tangent. Let's check it together. So you okay. True. Um, I will be solving the question number four. This question is based on the chain rule. The one we have learned before and this chain rule the formula will be like this uh, 
composite of G and it will be equal to dy dx f g x and then you will differentiate it you will get like this differentiate you will get dx times by the one you differentiate inside you will get this one okay this is the formula of it dy dx This one cos x squared, then I will differentiate the other one. There is dx x squared, and I will get like this 2x. You differentiate it, then my final answer is 2x cos. Students, this is the quiz which is contained on the uh, questions, all about the derivatives. derivatives. So, uh, the time is not too long and not too short. So, you can discuss and give me the answer so I can uh, click on the answer. Okay? We can start in 3, 2, 1. Thank you. 